Hey. Smoking so I don't feel like I'm gonna die. Smoking so I don't feel like I'm gonna die. Focus on talking, don't focus on lying. Get my piece of American pie. Get my piece of American pie. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's DC Reefer. And I just wanted to talk about one of my favorite fish from last episode to this episode. And that has to be the Mandarin. Uh, this is like maybe my first time owning, owning this Mandarin, this spotted Mandarin. But I gotta say, this has become my favorite fish by far. I love his color patterns, um, his, his the, the way he go about his business. Um, he just eat pies and don't bother nobody. So um, I love that he's just a bottom dweller, but he also climb on the rocks and you know pick pies. So he's basically self sufficient. You know I don't have to put no food in the tank. Um, I just have to provide him with good food source, which are Kobe pods. So um, I did you know a little homework on him. I didn't do all my homework, but I did a little homework. So I'm at the pet store, um, one of my LFS, um, picked them up and, you know, they didn't have like the, the regular um, Kobe pods. They had these ones in the bottle, which are the, um, the Tispy pods, I think. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but um, these are like the little red, they almost look like little red bugs or whatever. So <laughs> um, it's, it's a lot to come in this little thing. Bottle. So I turned the water off the flow so I could spread them into the live rock. Um, also, with this being live rock, I believe some Kobe pods came on this live rock. So I gave my guy a good chance. You know, um, I didn't just buy him impulsively, I knew that it had some care requirements, but um, I definitely um, wanted to give him, you know, like a nice treat. Um, in my experience with these type of pods, um, they really don't last long, like as far as breeding, or at least I don't see them after I add them in the tank. Um, the first day or so, I'll see them crawling on the glass and the, and the overflow, but after that, I don't really see them no more. So um, I make sure, you know, I add a different source of pods, but these are due for right now. Along with the live rock I have, um, I believe I'm giving him a good chance, you know, of survival. So as you can see, it's like thousands of these guys. <laughs> and I just let them go. Um, I squirt some in the rock so they could kind of like um, take shelter, I guess. Um, but again, like I said, after I add these guys, I never see them, you know, crawl on the glass again. So I just squirt them in there. Squirt them in all the little um, crevices or whatever. I actually added these guys to the lagoon um, when I first set it up, and the clownfish just to demolish them. <laughs> but um, this is the pico, so I just wanted to add them to here just just to, um, like I said, give them a good, give my manner a good uh, food source. So um, I'm really digging it. So, as you can see, my guy's eating. I mean, he is demolishing them. <laughs> and it's a good feeling, you know, to um, be able to provide for your livestock. Um, but these are very finicky eaters. So, you want to make sure you're doing the right thing by adding their food source. And um, he didn't hesitate. Um, as soon as I added him in, he was like, yep, we cool. I'm about to show you what it is. I'm about to get down on some chow. <laughs> So um, he basically like was just cleaning off the um, overflow box of the um, of the pico, which was like um, tons of pots. 
um, it was easy for me to see them on that because it was all black. So that was a good thing. Um, but yeah, this was real satisfying just to see him just go to work, get a belly full of pie. So do your thing, man. Do your thing. So here's the next day. And I added another one. I was so happy that, you know, I got that one eaten. I just added another one. So um, this is the like the ruby red dragonette, I believe. Um, great coloration. So it kind of like um, offset that green and spotted one with this like bright red with yellow fins. Oh, it was it's so beautiful. Um, I'm really enjoying the dragonette. So um, right now it's no beef. Um, although the the um, pico is very small, they don't bother each other. Um, it's just them two, and they kind of like, hey, you got your pods, I got my pods, and um, we're gonna be pals, pod pals. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and stop it right here, guys. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. Um, as I just experienced this hobby, the only way I know how, and that's just by trials some errors, some success, um, and just trying out things. So you guys stay tuned for the next episode of my journey, I guess. And um, thank you guys for watching. And again, happy reef. Peace.